Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to my World of Tanks replays, I am the Mighty Jingles, and this time we are in the ISU-152 Russian Tier 8 Tank Destroyer. It's a funny old beast, the ISU. Um, it's one of the worst grinds in the game. Um, in many respects, it's basically the SU-152 with a worse matchmaker. It's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, it even looks almost exactly the same. Um, Let's get this show on the road. The difference, the only real difference is the big gun that it gets, the BL-10. This is an absolute beast of a gun. But it tends to have a bit of a mind of its own. Um, until you've unlocked the BL-10, which requires something ridiculous like 68,000 XP, you're pretty much stuck with a selection of three guns. A pair of 122mm, which are useless or a 152mm derp gun that fires high explosive shells. Now, you pretty much have to grind this with the derp gun. Um, and in that case, you may as well just be driving an SU-152. Watch this. Enemy is hit. Look at that, but the payoff is this BL-10 gun. Now, there's no artillery on this match, so I'm quite safe sitting up here. But look at the damage this gun does. They're knocked out! <laughs> this is... You get it in the right map, in the right position, with the right opposition, and this tank is just... Oh, I mean, watch watch the amount of hurt Enemy armor is hit. that this thing lays out. It is, it's a funny old gun, though. Uh, it, it it tends to have... I mean, everybody who uses the BL-10 and the ISU-152 and the Object 704 will tell you this gun has a mind of its own. We nailed the bat! Sometimes it just refuses to hit the target. And there is nothing you can do about it. I mean, it's not incredibly accurate, as you'd expect for a gun with this amount of alpha damage. I mean, I've hit for a thousand damage with this gun. It's just absurd. And sometimes it can be incredibly accurate. And then sometimes you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn from the inside. They're knocked out! But <laughs> look at this. It's just a slaughter. Oh, SU-85. Right, watch this. This is just hilarious. Oh no. I can't remember what to go for. Is it the SU-85? Yeah, it's the SU-85. Watch this. Enemy is <laughs> Can you imagine how much fun you're going to have with this thing once you unlock that BL-10? And another one. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you, where are you? There you are. Gotcha! <laughs> um, yeah, so... <laughs> I just... It's one of those... It's one of those tanks that inspires equal amounts of love and hate. Uh, you can have games where you just cannot stop laughing from start to finish. And this is one of them. And oh, that IS-3 is getting close. There's a hilarious moment coming up. <coughs> now I'm thinking, I'm not sitting here letting that M10 take pot shots at me. And this gun can pull off very accurate shots. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, that IS-3, I really need to take care of it. Can I hit him from here? Can I? Yes, I can! Enemy is hit. Look at that, 700 damage. He's sitting there thinking, what the hell was that? But that M10 Wolverine in the valley, he's nickel and diamond me away to death here, so... I really need to hit because he's... Sooner or later... Now luckily, I, he doesn't have the turret elevation, and I don't have the turret, the gun traverse to kill him. But look, look at how much of that, yeah, see how much of that M10 was poking target. out there. Sometimes this gun just vaporises everything you pointed at, and other times it couldn't hit the side of the barn from the inside. And it's just one of those guns that can, can provoke equal amounts of joy and rage. 
and if you ask any Object 704 or ISU 152 driver, they will all tell you the same thing. That BL-10 gun is absolutely magnificent until it misses. Anyway, back to the game. Um, it's still anybody's game, 810. And I decide I'm going to go and get that IS-3 and probably take one hit. He cannot take one hit from me. And he knows it. So this is actually quite comical. You kind of imagine the Benny Hill theme tune playing at this point. And watch this. Now, you really don't want to go chasing people around corners in this. Somebody hits me from the rear, I don't know who it was. There's a couple of medium tanks over there. A Panther. He hits! But I have you now! And that's what BL-10 does. So he comes, he thinks, ah, now I have you! And I'm in all kinds of trouble. And guess what? <laughs> he misses from point-blank range. And now, ah, now I have you! And indeed I do. But not before the Panther came around and took me out from behind. But that was hilarious. And that's what it's like playing the ISU 152. It's it's equal parts rage, frustration, and sheer unmitigated lol. And it's all down to that that gun, that BL10 gun. Until you get that gun unlocked, you're just playing a poor man's SU 152, the Tier 7 tank destroyer with the 152 millimeter HE. And I sadly have a bit of raging in team chat here. Six, I mean, six kills, and uh, now the base is being capped. However, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. And as it happens, this IS-3 plays a blinder of a game. Mephista is his name. And check this out. But I, I honestly thought that this was going to be another thousand point loss. And I had a few of those today. But this IS-3 is a good player. And as it happens, their Panzer 30 ANA is AFK in their cap circle. And has been since the start of the game. So they really only have two medium tanks to deal with. And they've got two tier 8 heavy tanks to do it with. So uh, this turns out to be a quite comfortable win. So, that was the ISU-152 with the BL-10 Tier 10 anti-tank gun. Equal parts love and hate, um, but it, it's an experience not to be missed. I mean, you saw the way I was peeling apart. I was two-shotting Type 59s and three-shotting IS-3s. Um, what a gun when it's behaving itself. When it's not behaving yourself, you're going to be pulling your hair out with frustration. So, that was the ISU 152 Tier 8 Russian tank destroyer with the BL-10 gun. Uh, I'm the Mighty Jingles. Mephisto, the IS-3 driver, is my hero. And I hope you enjoyed that replay. Catch you next time.